Hello guys, uh, just a quick video today. I'll be doing a little review on the re-release of the original Gundam kit half-scale models. Quite uh, difficult to find. A friend of mine came across them and sold a few to me in his um, model workshop. The second thing I'd like to concentrate this video on is the future that this uh, channel is going to take. Um, I've had a little playing around with teaching how to build models, but I'm pretty much going to have to start with the raw basics. I'm going to have to take you all through uh, building a kit from start to finish every single stage, and of course show a lot of modification work. Um, the next video I will probably concentrate on is just telling you what you need, what mind of uh, focus, uh, what should you look for in a kit. And I do apologise, I did promise I was going to do a kit on modification, but I don't have the materials at the moment on my current build. It's uh, proving to take a lot, lot longer. The second issue, but also a good thing for this channel and myself, within a few days I'm actually going to be leaving for a holiday in Japan for one month. So that means after this video, there isn't going to be, a little, there isn't going to be any videos for a little while. But when I do return, I hopefully will have an extensive review on Akihabara and possibly a guide as well looking at all the model stores the anime stores and whatnot I also take a great amount of interest in Japanese culture and the swords play I practice kendo myself um, that all out of the way let's go have a look at this little build what we have here is a half scale or a 288 scale prototype act guy. You may or may not have seen him in Double Zeta Gundam. He appears for a very short amount of time. Uh, the body may be recognisable as the act guy's body except for the head and the hands. To prove that this is a half scale, this is just a random no grade kit box and you can see it's a quite larger or if we take the kit to my finished model collection, he is quite small. Um, in the way of uh, this is the box. I do apologise. Uh, I was painting him on the box uh, when I was building him. I was at a demonstration for our club all I had was very very basic tools uh, side cutters a knife file sandpaper plastic cement putty and a mixture of paints that I haven't actually quite used before the big no-no that I did do on him was I painted the primer on hand um, we didn't have access to power to run the airbrush but he came out quite nicely so he is painted he seam lines have been filled but that's about it The box is pretty much a perfect design of the 1 to 144 scale version. Um, you may see 1144 on him. Uh, of course that would be incorrect. Inside the box, um, beside your trees, you have your mini instructions. Sorry, there's also paint on it. And these are the, um, the painting guide. Uh, the parts are included how on the trees, but they recommend you that you paint on the trees. Of course, I finished him, then I painted him. And these little half-scale kits also comes with a pretty nifty trading card and advertising some stuff from Goons, uh, still containing the 1 to 144 scale mark, which is also incorrect. Uh, if you've ever seen this guy, he's quite rare in the 1 to 144 scale range. He has very little articulation. His, his feet move around on some sort of basic ball joint, pivots there, the hands move all the way 100, 360 degrees, uh, these little heat rods also move around, the head moves around a bit too, but uh, the guy's a little fragile so I'm not going to show you the full extent like in other videos. He was hand painted mostly with acrylic paints. Uh, multiple dry brush forms and inking. 
the only modification I made was I changed the thrusters over with IC pins. They're a little smaller, a little more realistic looking. But generally, I was very happy how I finished him. Looks like a great little build. If you are very new to model kits or if you're quite experienced and if you just want to play with something, finish something an actual weekend, not spending months building a kit, if you can't find your hands on these, please buy them. They're fantastic. They're very, very cheap. They come in two forms, either a large box with heaps of these little different assorted kits or like gashifons, you just get a picture of a dome and you can have any of several kits in them. I did buy a few off my friend. Which include Shah Zaku, Zaku 1, Gundam, the rare AG. I'm building him at the moment, he's a work in progress, but because I'm using my friend's paints, I can only um, paint when I'm at the workshop. Uh, he's built, he's half painted, the same, roughly the same colour scheme as my prototype act guy. Uh, more work is going to be done with him. Uh, I may do a review on him in the future or show him off or whatever. Rumble Rails prototype goof and a weapon set in this scale uh, I bought them for about five dollars a kit uh, most of the profit actually went to my friend's organization so I don't mind paying the extra money and just to have a little look inside of one of these kits the goof absolutely cute um, all molded in one plastic they come together very very well uh, you can't snap them you must glue them instructions and again the trading card thank you very much for watching this video the next one we'll have a little talk about uh, building your first model what to do what not to do until next time Thank you for watching.